BRP Sultan Kodarat. BRP Sultan Kodarat PS-22, was a Miguel Malvar class corvette of the Philippine Navy. She was originally built as USS PCE-881, a PCE-842 class patrol craft for the United States Navy during World War II. She was acquired by the Philippine Navy on April 1976, and was commissioned later on as RPS Sultan Kodarat PS-22. The ship is in active service, along with other World War II era ships of the Philippine Navy. Sultan Kodarat was considered as one of the oldest active fighting ships in the world. History commissioned in the U.S. Navy as USS PCE-895 in 1944, she was renamed USS Crestview PCE-895, on February 15, 1956, named for the city of Crestview, Florida, in accordance with a recent Navy decision to name its patrol vessels, previously known only by the home number by the names of cities of the United States with populations between 2,500 and 10,000. She was then transferred to the South Vietnam on November 29, 1961. She served the Republic of Vietnam Navy as our VNS and GII headquarters 07, up until her escape to the Philippines in 1975, together with other South Vietnamese Navy ships and their respective crew. She was formally acquired by the Philippine Navy on April 5, 1976 and was commissioned into the Philippine Navy on July 27, 1976 and was renamed RPS Sultan Coder at PS-22. She was renamed to be RP Sultan Coder at PS-22 in June 1980 using a new localized prefix. Between 1990 and 1991 the Sultan Coder at underwent major overhaul weapons and radar systems refit, and upgrade of communications gear. She was assigned with the patrol force, later on the offshore patrol force of the Philippine fleet. Originally the ship was armed with one MK-26-3-50 caliber dual-purpose gun, three single Bofors 40mm guns, one hedgehog depth charge projector, four depth charge projectiles K guns and two depth charge tracks. Changes were made during its transfer to the South Vietnamese Navy, and addition of four MK-10 or Lacan 20mm guns. This made the ship lighter and ideal for surface patrols, but losing her limited anti-submarine warfare capability. The same configuration applies when she was transferred to the Philippine Navy up until around 1990-1991. During its overhaul and refit between 1990 and 1991, the Philippine Navy made some changes in the armament setup. Some sources claim the loss of its three Bofors 40mm cannons during the 1990-1991 overhaul and refit period. But as of 2009 show the Bofors guns still present. Final armaments fit to the ship are one MK26-350 caliber gun 4, three single Bofors 40mm cannons, four MK10 or Lacan, 20mm cannons two each on bridge wheels, and four M2 Browning .50 caliber, 12.7mm caliber machine guns two besides main bridge. 2 aft near the lower Bofors gun tub. The ship is powered by two GM-12-278 A diesel engines, with a combined rating of around 2,200 bhp 1,600 kilowatts driving two propellers. The main engines can propel the 914 tons full load, shipped to a maximum speed, of around 16 knots 30 kilometers per hour. The BRP Sultan Kodarat.